Ian Gary is one of the most underrated and underappreciated fighters in the entire roster. And when you think about it, it's actually kind of crazy in a way because I just don't understand the overwhelming hate. I get it, but I mean, it is kind of stupid to me how hated Ian Gary is. When you look at Ian Gary's career, he came into the UFC, he got a KO against uh, Jordan Williams. I remember after that fight, um, a lot of people were talking shit about him, saying he got rocked, and a lot of people disliked him right out, right out of the bat because, you know, uh, he's like a Conor McGregor wannabe and all that stuff. To be fair, if he was a Conor McGregor wannabe, he would have two L's on his fucking record. So, yeah, cry about it. You know what I mean? At the end of the fucking day, Ian Gary is undefeated, okay? Uh, and when I mean two L's, I mean Conor McGregor had two L's before getting into the UFC. That's what I was referring to. So, yeah, at the end of the day, Conor, Mc Conor McGregor was not as good as Ian Gary coming into the UFC. Ian Gary is 100%. I mean, he was a but Ian Gary was Cage Warriors champion, I, I believe. Uh, so Ian Gary's resume is pretty fucking good for a guy that's only had, a few, uh, not that many fights in the UFC. I mean, he's had a few, but I mean, like then people started to like Ian Gary. It's, it was weird. After he beat D-Rod, people started to get, get around to Ian Gary, but before the Neil Magny fight, people just hated him because of what he did to Neil Magny when he bought up the whole thing. He twisted what Neil Magny said, uh, to be fair, which was wrong. It's the only reason I could see why people... Probably don't like Ian Gary because that was kind of fucked up. But at the end of the day, any other reason is kind of stupid. Like, oh, he's a Connor wannabe. Oh, but Ian's a cuck, guys. Ian. First of all, there's no proof that he's a cuck whatsoever. And his uh, wife is older than him, which, you know, that's, that's I guess, <laughs> like you could say like, his, his wife is way older than him. You know, that's, that's, that's his thing. You know what I mean? Like, uh, me personally, you know what I mean? I understand why some people think it's weird for Ian Gary to... Uh, be married to a woman that much older than him but at the end of the day that's not a reason to hate him like like oh he's a degenerate who fucking took his wife's life. that first of all it's not even true like he didn't ne necessarily take his wife's last name his wife's name was in the thing so it just happened to be there it's not like he took his name is ian gary still it's just his middle name it works differently i don't know how it works for their, where they're from but it's not like he just took his wife's last name like um that's not the case and also uh, the ex-husband is in their lives because Ian uh, Ian wants the kid to see his father. You know, the ex-husband still has a child with Ian's wife. So the ex-husband's only there because, I mean, he's Ian's nutritionist and he that kid, right? That That's his kid. And Ian's not going to be like, oh, you can't see your kid. Ian's not being selfish about, uh, about it. Like, no, like this guy deserves to see his kid and Ian allows it. So... Yeah, and Ian's nutritionist is the ex-husband, which is that's the other thing about Ian Gary. Is he's vegan, which is really cringe. But let's not let's stop talking about why people like clowning Ian Gary. That's more of a reason why people clown Gary. I feel like the main reason people hate Gary is because of his like arrogant persona or uh, what he did in Neil Magny. Because the thing is, right, Ian Gary is a uh, good fighter. He's a really good striker. Uh, he's proven that throughout his entire career. Uh, his win over uh, Neil Magny was very impressive. People un undermined that performance and say, I wasn't that impressive. Like, okay, but who's really outstruck Neil Magny like that? Let's be honest. Like, but the way to beat Neil Magny usually is to outgrapple him, right? Not to outstrike him. So, I mean, you can't, I'm not saying Neil Magny's like a world-class striker, but I'm saying Neil Magny is pretty decent, you know what I mean? So, Ian just destroyed him. And then in his next fight, he defeats Jeff Neal, who many people were saying was going to beat Ian Gary. Before that fight, and Ian Gary proves everyone wrong and defeats Jeff Neal. And this is the issue with these people. They say Ian's win these wins are not, aren't impressive, yet he's winning fights that you are picking against him in. So how are they not impressive? If he, if he was fighting guys he was a heavy favorite against, then you'd be like, well, what was that really imp No, like he's fighting guys that people think will beat him, like Jeff Neal. Uh, MVP was a guy that everyone was, everyone was picking MVP. Go to any MMA YouTube channel or any... MMA fan, they're all picking MVP to beat Ian Gary. I, I completely believe that because of all the glazing about MVP from like some of the things I've seen throughout Fight Week. All these people were picking Michael Venom Page to KO Ian Gary. Like, what the fuck? They were co-picking MVP. He defeats MVP, and now he's like, oh, Ian just, just, you know. First of all, a lot of that fight was standing up, and Ian did okay on the feet uh, against MVP because here's the truth, right? Like. Uh, a lot of people get destroyed by MVP on the feet. Ian Gary didn't. So that shows that Ian Gary is still a really good striker. You know what I mean? He's still a really good striker. Uh, and I do believe that Ian Gary's uh, 
performance over MVP gets too much shit. He took MVP's back and dominated that first round with grappling. And when he was down in the last round, he was able to get it back by taking MVP's back and had that championship heart to at least make an adjustment. You know what? I'm going to take Michael Venom Page's back and win the round. He just completely and utterly just uh, destroyed MVP. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm kidding. He didn't destroy MVP, but... You know, he won that decision. He won that decision very clearly. And a lot of people are going to say robbery. A lot of people are going to say Ian Gary's not the real deal. But trust me when I say this, Ian Gary will probably defeat Shavkat Rachmanov. And I see, look at all the glazing about Shavkat needs to fucking stop. I've made a video about Shavkat Rachmanov. Like, where Ian Gary is underrated, Shavkat Rachmanov is hella overrated. This guy is so fucking overrated. I mean, like, he beat Steven Thompson and Neil Magny. His resume isn't even that much better than fucking Ian Gary. Who did he beat? Steven Thompson, Neil Magny, Jeff Neal, like, okay, wow. MVP is pretty much Steven Thompson at this point. Let's be honest. I get Steven Thompson fought for a UFC title, but, like, why are we glazing Shafkot so much? Like, I think Ian Gary defeats Shafkot, and the reason why is Shafkot's offensive wrestling is not that strong. And on the feet, I think Ian Gary beats, like, if the fight's a stand-up fight and they're striking, I'm picking Ian Gary to win that fight. If Shafkot can take Ian down, that's a problem for Ian Gary, okay? So I might, I, I don't know. But I'm my early prediction right now is Ian Gary probably will defeat Shavkat Rachmanov. I really believe that. I think he needs to prepare better, though. He needs to be stronger in that. Like, he can't be a weakling. He can't be on that vegan diet. He needs to get a little bit stronger, in my opinion. And I do think no, a lot of people are going to have a lot of issues with Ian Gary. I really do. I do think Ian Gary is going to beat Shavka. And I do think Ian Gary will fight for his title. Whether or not he will win, I think Leon Edwards is the guy right now. Uh, I know a lot of people, you know, say Leon's boring, but Leon Edwards is the guy right now in the welterweight division. So that's a different topic. But I do think that Ian Gary defeats Shavka Rachmanov. And I do think Ian Gary is one of, if not the most underrated fighter in the UFC. And look, he's one of the guys that's making the sport interesting right now because the sport's kind of dead and it needs people like Ian Gary to bring some excitement to fights, right? So... Uh, look, Ian Gary's underrated. That's all I had to say in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you disagree with me, let me know in the fucking comments. I, I personally don't care if, if this video pissed you off. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, look, tell me why Ian Gary isn't underrated. Okay. Tell me why I, I don't get it. Uh, you know, I do think this is pretty clear. So yeah, I'm out. Peace.